Hello, people. <laughs> it is uh, kind of late. Well, actually, it's not that late if we are in California. So, so I feel better now. But it's 1030 where I'm at. And I was just going to record a video instead because I was like, oh, it's kind of late. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Um, but I'm dedicated. I wanted to get this done. I thought about doing it tomorrow, but I'm like, whatever, I'll do it right now. Um, so I was going to make a video and then just post it later. And then I was talking to my friend and I asked her, is it too late for a makeup live? She said, it's never too late. I was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> okay. So I don't have any makeup on and I blow dried my hair. I'm kind of sweating now. How are you guys? What are you guys doing? Where are you guys from? Are you, what time zone are you in? <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Oh, you're from California. Perfect. It's only what, 8.30? Is it 8.30 there? All right, so I'm going to try to not be super long too. I'm doing a full face. I'm slow. I'm going to use this brand new primer that I got yesterday or the day before. I've only used it yesterday though. Um, and I put it on towards the end of the night. So I haven't really worn it all day to see what it is like yet. <laughs> so, um, I'll have to try it tomorrow. But, um, if you have our other primer, our glorious primer, this one is not clear. It is, um, I don't know, cloudy. I don't know how you want to explain this. It's just not clear. And this is a mattifying primer. I'm so excited because I have oily skin and I've been waiting for a mattifying primer for like five years. So I am super excited about this. All right. So oh, I had some concealer on because I did a hair video too right here. So I had a halo treatment done on my face. Um, when was it a week ago, two weeks ago, week and a half ago? No, week and a half, two weeks ago. doesn't matter. But, um, my skin is going to be like acting weird for like a month after. And so whenever I get a halo, I get these like breakouts. Well, and it was just that time of the month. So, <laughs> so that happens too. But anyways, it takes like a month for your skin to go back to normal. So yeah, I have um, melasma. It was my third halo. So my melasma is like way better. You can barely see it. Now you can see my hypopigmentation instead of hyperpigmentation because it takes away all the hyperpigmentation. Um, but not the hypo. So now the hypo shows. Hello! Oh my god, it's hot in here. But I don't want to turn my heat. I'm, give me one second. I even have a dress on. <laughs> I dressed up for you guys. <laughs> no, I just couldn't find any shirts to wear. <laughs> I was like, they will never know, <laughs> but now you know. Okay, so let's do foundation. Usually I let my primer, let's do eye primer. I let my face primer sit for a little bit, like five minutes, five, 10 minutes. Um, because then it just gives it that time to do its job, to create that barrier between your makeup and your skin. Hi, Lonnie. Lonnie was the one. She's the wise woman. <laughs> okay, eye primer. So everything that I'm using is going to be unique. Um, it's the best. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I need, I always do my face first too usually because I feel like if I don't, I don't like how my eyeshadow looks right away and I keep messing with it. So let's do foundation. 
This is the spray foundation. So this is how I apply it. Recently. I kind of change it up. Hello, hello, you guys. Oh, I'm so glad people are awake. So I like to use a blending bud, but I also like to use a kabuki brush. Sometimes I only use this. Sometimes I use both. Today I'm going to use both just to show you. Um, so you want to take this stuff really good. This stuff is super lightweight on your skin and has like full coverage. And I have oily skin and this is the best foundation that I've ever worn for my oily skin. And I've tried oh God, so many foundations so many, and so many primers just spin really really tough <laughs> okay so I spray it really close so that there's not like a ton of um over spray and then I do and I, I didn't spray that much on there did you see that so then I do one cheek at a time because this stuff it dries quickly and so you want to like be quick okay so there there's one cheek and we'll just do the other cheek let's see and I like dab. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing the, the shade Eyelet. See? Oh, oh, it's so great. It's like oh, full coverage, but weightless. It's amazing. Okay, so I have a... S it doesn't look that small on the camera, but I have a small forehead. Like this brush is kind of too big. <laughs> it get sometimes it gets in my eyebrow. I don't know. So I'm using this smaller kabuki brush just because on my forehead. Just because I have it. And it's like the perfect size kind of to get right here. Okay, so then I do my forehead. Do, 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 do. And see how I'm like patting it kind of patting it and then kind of like I'll smear it a little bit but I'm not like rubbing dabbing okay I mean I could be done I'm gonna put a little bit more um, in some spots but just because I sometimes will build it up a little bit but otherwise I don't really have to Ten month. Oh, mm. we are in quarantine. We be up. <laughs> did I say this is eyelet? Oh my gosh! Did you guys? I'm burping. Sorry. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Let's do a little more because I love this stuff so much. So here's where I have like the hypopigmentation. I don't know if you can even see it. A little bit. So that's where I usually will add extra and then I'll just cover like any blemishes that I have with concealer after so anything that your foundation doesn't cover you would do concealer after I used to always do concealer first and then foundation and then I read that you do foundation first and then concealer and I was like Oh, duh, that makes more sense. Cause I would apply concealer and then put my foundation on and then it would like wipe it off. And I was like, well that, and then I'd have to put it on again. So it never really made sense. So foundation is the foundation of your makeup and then concealer conceals anything that the foundation didn't cover. Amazing, right? You're gonna learn so much tonight. How is the transfer? Oh my God, it transfers like nothing. Like that's the other thing. Like I go to the gym and I like pat my face with the towel and it's like nothing. So the transfer is fabulously not there. <laughs> Where did you get the middle necklace? Oh, it's all one necklace actually. So it all comes together. And I got it from my friend who 
um, owns a boutique. So I can give you her, her, I know she's on Instagram. She probably has a Facebook. I can give you her link. I can, I can um, post it if you want the whole necklace. I just got it and I love it. And she like just started her business. So she's like looking for business <laughs> and she's so sweet. Okay, so I did the foundation. Now I'm gonna do, oh, I normally, I, okay, so this is damp. I did run this underwater and then what I do is I run it underwater till it gets like nice and fluffy. This is, um, the brand is Beauty Blender, the Beauty Blender brand. This is the sponge that I like the best. I've tried other ones like from Target and everywhere, but like these Beauty Blender brand ones are just like more soft and um, I just like them the best. I don't know. I feel like the other ones like take away the makeup even if you damp dampen them. But anyways, I usually dampen it, get it wet. And then I take a towel and then I just like squeeze it a couple times to get the extra water out. And then it's like damp right now. It's kind of too dry probably. But um, so I'll do the Kabuki brush and then I will like go through just like mostly in my T-zone and use this just because it helps I think with like my oily skin. And um, Since I am oily, it helps make my foundation like look better in the long run <laughs> so that it doesn't like start to look, uh, it doesn't separate or get crackly. I don't really know. You might know what I'm talking about if you experience that, but so the blending wood, blend, blending wood, the blending bed will just help like get any excess oils from like foundation the foundation or anything I don't know <laughs> so I just do that and it helps it like blend better into your skin so I do that if I don't use the kabuki brush I will spray the blending bud and then just I'll show you I spray it really close like that close like look at and then I'll here I'll do it right here I just think the kabuki brush is a little faster and then you you dab and um if you've never used one of these before this like bouncing motion <laughs> like it takes practice the first time i started using a blending bud i was like like i couldn't do the motion it was like really weird so you'll get it <laughs> and now look how fast i am <laughs> okay <laughs> and i wanted to like smear it was really hard to not do that smearing motion. Oh God, oh my goodness. Okay, so any other questions on foundation before I move on? Yeah, I don't use the unique ones. I have them, but I thought if I break them in, maybe they'll, you know, I'll like them, but I haven't been able to break them in enough because I just, I have this one and I love it so much. I do like this little one like for like precise, I mean, I haven't really used it, but I do like the look of it and the idea of it. I'll have to try it. I'll have to, I will have to try it and break it in and see. <clears throat> but these ones, I feel like you don't really have to break in. So, so yeah. Um, all right. Then I will put on a pressed powder. I use the color Poplin. Um, and I actually use the blending bud. I think the blending bud gives better coverage and a smoother finish. So I just like it better than using a brush. If I'm in a hurry, I'll use a brush, but... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I forgot concealer. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. It should still work over the powder. I'm gonna actually do, 
our foundation stick to highlight and contour. Because they have really good coverage. Yeah. I sometimes do use our concealer, but for, but I think I'm gonna use this. I think I like this. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so that's where I put, that's where I highlight. This is the color Velour. It has like a yellow, yellowy undertone, a warm undertone. And then this is Chenille. It's a neutral-ish color that's, um, oh, a few shades darker. I should have been a little more careful. Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, they're not even. Oh, well. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect because it'll all blend. Do, do, do. Well, I hope. We'll see. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> yes, please. Oh, okay. Yes, please about the website. All right. So then I will, I usually just take my blending bud and blend all of it together. I wonder, like, should I use a couple different brushes? But I usually just don't have time. <laughs> so we'll just blend this. And I should probably, I think I usually blend the highlight first. Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'll do that now. <laughs> I might need to get this a little more wet. I'm gonna put some rose water on it just to get it damp. Oh my gosh, I have to, oh. <laughs> I'm usually more careful than this. <laughs> That's okay, It's everything's fixable. <laughs> All right. Let's blend this. So I usually will, um, well, I'll show you, but I do my contour. I don't do this every day. Every day I'll just do a powder contour. I'm going extra tonight. This is like, if you want it to be like, looking super fly, okay? Super duper fly. So when you contour, you don't wanna go all the way to your mouth either because then you're gonna look like, um, like sunken in, like Skeletor. And it's gonna make you look older. So you wanna like stop, I might've gone a little too far, but I'll blend, like stop like here, okay? Um, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. So don't worry, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. And then I'm gonna put powder on and kind of blend it a little more and we'll figure it out. Okay, there's that. Now for the powder, my Poplin press powder. Oh gosh, it's 
so hot in here. So I like the blending bud. Oh, I love this powder. <laughs> Hi Megan. Hi Libby. <laughs> Hopefully I can get through the eyes, you guys, and get tired. So. And then when I'm done, I'm going to probably have all this energy, and I'm going to be up till like, 4 in the morning. Oh, my gosh, I can't put self-tanner on my neck, so my neck is, like, white, white, pasty. Because of the halo. I have the halo on my neck and face. And so... My friend who did it, she said, I can't put any self-tanner on my face or neck for two weeks. I was like, ooh, what if I just got a little bit on my neck? Is that okay? Because <laughs> I did accidentally go like this, and I was like, oh, shoot. So then I asked her, and she's like, no. Okay. I won't tell her that I did it. Um... Can you guys hear the cuckoo clock? There's somebody that has a cuckoo clock above me. It must be 11 o'clock. <laughs> okay, so there's the powder. Did I, did I do it all? Better. Now we're gonna do setting powder, I think. Libby, do you have to work tomorrow? Okay, so the setting powder, I use this. This is like my, if I lost this, I, <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> okay, so this is, I just set everything. And I pretty much put it all over my face. If you're not oily, you could probably just do, um, like set your highlight or whatever, but okay. So I like to do this because then it like sh sharpens the contour, <sighs> but I eventually end up putting it all over my face, but I just don't put as much on my cheek right here. It's translucent, but it will lighten it up a little bit. That's why um, if I do the foundation, look, I'm not, ugh, the sticks. If I contour and highlight with these sticks, I still always um, ugh, <laughs> I need water. Um. I still, um, what am I trying to say? I still will add powder contour over it because this kind of like lightens it up and I like a little bit more of a dramatic contour. It's just my preference. All right, so sometimes I'll let this sit on my face a few minutes and then I'll like lightly brush it off, but I'll just brush some of it off right now. I probably should have done my brows and then put that over my brows so that those would stay good too. But the setting powder just like makes everything stay so good. I feel like everyone needs the setting powder. I can't live without it. Okay, I think I might be done with my blending bud now. So then let's, I'm gonna do the powder contour later. I usually kind of do that when I'm finished with everything. The very end. Okay. Eyeshadow. Here we go. So I used these colors. Um, Astute Impish, I think is what it's called. I think this one is Visionary. I'm going to double check just so that I don't tell you the wrong 
color. Uh-huh. Visionary. And then gullible. Hi, Kelsey. Or Casey. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I am from Minnesota. Minnesota. You're off tomorrow, but work the rest of the weekend. Ooh, I'm sorry. You're a godsend. Thank you for doing what you do. I'm so glad I get to work from home. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you, Libby. <clears throat> Libby and I went to nursing school together. Okay, so... Where was I? Okay, so I should, I'm gonna admit, I did use one other color. And I didn't post it just because I feel like most people have just like a plain whitish color. Oh, Wisconsin. I was born in Wisconsin. And I went to school in Wisconsin, to a school in Eau Claire. Libby and me. Hi, Amy. My dad still lives in Wisconsin. So, all right, so take this just like as a base color because this eye primer that we have is really um, sticky. It's really good. So your eyeshadow will stick and stay all day. However, if you just try to plop a crease color in there, it's gonna like show up really dark. And you might have a harder time blending because it's just kind of sticky, sticky. So I always try to add some sort of base color just up here. You don't necessarily have to do it on your lid because I want it to be dark up there. Or there. All right, so that's what I did. And this color is laid back. And I have it in, I normally have, we have palette, customizable palettes where you can get four, you can do eight colors, you can do singles. So like, I have my astute color. Um, color, I have a few of them, normally just in a one thing, onesie thing, because I wear that color like every day with everything. So I leave those out. Um, otherwise I have all of them normally in like a 25 palette. Cause we have, I think 50 something eyeshadows. So you can get the 25 palettes and build them up if you're like, I know I'm gonna want many, many colors eventually. So, okay. So I took them out and put them in a quad so you could see what they look like. All right, so we're gonna start with Astute. I'm gonna use this blending brush. This is a unique brush. This is my favorite. Well, I'm gonna show you my favorite brushes. This is one of my favorite brushes, but. <clears throat> um, let me grab my other brush. All my brushes so that I have them here ready. It's a nice fluffy brush, so um, the color of the eyeshadow is gonna go on. Hi, Alyssa. Oh, hi, Christine from Chicago. <laughs> oh, I'm reading Libby's message. I will send lots of good vibes for you. Mm, I can't imagine. Um, well, I can't imagine actually, um, but I can't at the same time. <laughs> um, so if you use a fluffier brush, the color is going to go on less intense. So I like to use it as, um, for my transition colors because I want those to not be super dark in my crease. That's just to like create, um, more of that like gradient look so that you don't have like a sharp line, you know? Okay, so that is why I love Astute. It's like a great transition color because I have a lot of space right here and I have kind of hooded eyelids. Not so bad right now because I just got Botox. It helps, <laughs> um, but without it, they're way, way hooded. So um, anyways, Astute is a great, great, great transition color. So that's why I wear it every day. All right. 
so you'll see. So I just put it like basically on my like eye eye bone. What is this called? God, I should do my brows right now actually before I get too far into this. Yeah, I'm gonna do them right now after. Just because then you have a better idea of where your eyeshadow should go when your brows are done. And I'm literally like just going like this and then I'm tapping because this eyeshadow, our eyeshadows are super pigmented. So you don't need to be like swirling. If I were to like go like this in there, Ooh, it'd be dark. So you don't do that. You just do light and then you can build up. Cause if you put too much on, uh, they probably will not go anywhere. <laughs> okay, let me do my brows quick. So I do have my brows microbladed, but I need to tint my brows really bad because my actual like brow hairs are light kind of lightish and so it makes the tattooing look lighter because it reflects light <laughs> yeah that's what my brow lady told me and i have not tinted them for a while so that always really that usually helps when I tint them then I don't need to um, darken or like line them as much but anyways so here's my brow palette it's super ghetto right now and it's been used quite a bit there's this waxy stuff I put that on my brush and then I will dip it into here because it'll like help stick so I brushed my brows down and then I'm gonna do this top, the top part. Oh, I might've put too much wax on, but that's okay. I can brush some of it off. And then the end, if you measure with your nose to your edge of your eye, that's where your brow should end. So I have to go a little bit more. Okay, so then I will, oh, let me do the lighter color here. I'll do the lighter color more like inward. This is where I have no brows. I have no hair right here, but it's tattooed on a little bit. Okay, so now I'll brush them up. And we'll do, well, then I got a little something down here. We'll do the dark. down here oh gosh you guys this might be a long tutorial because I'm talking a lot I'm teaching you everything I know <laughs> all right all right let's hurry this up do any of you have any of you guys watched Shit's Creek is Lonnie still on here? I'm watching it for the second time. I'm so, I love it so much. It's so funny. But my friend Lonnie messaged me and she's like, oh my gosh, you're so Alexis. And I'm like, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe some things, but. <laughs> and so she sent me this video, this TikTok. There's a TikTok of the dance she does when she, the sing, the sing, the, the song and dance. Is it a Britney? I think it's Britney and I love Britney. It's my favorite. 
Is it to work, bitch, maybe? I can't remember. But anyways, so I think I'm going to try to do that TikTok. That's hilarious. All right. Anyways, I love that show. <laughs> All right, let's hurry this bra thing up. The nice thing, what is going on here? It doesn't wanna go in on my face right here, on my skin. The nice thing about Getting your brows microbladed. Even though I am darkening them, if I didn't have time, like normally I don't do them if I have to go to work because I just usually put mascara on when I go to work. And I'll put powder and blush on and stuff, but um, I usually don't do my brows. So the nice thing is I can be seen in public without my brows done and they look normal because before I got them microbladed, they were like non-existent. What's going on here? Hold on, I need a mirror. Oh, I got a dirty one. It's like, oh, I could zoom in a little. <laughs> I'm being a perfectionist, it's fine. Move on. <laughs> okay, whatever, 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 whatever. Okay, good enough, right? Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Where do you live? Do you live in a... What is the time zone? Pacific time zone? All right, let's move, go back to eyeshadow. So I did a stoot. Mm. I have foundation on my lips. <laughs> Next, I have a dry piece of skin to my lips. <laughs> Next, so I did this look yes, last night for the first time, so I'm trying to remember what I did. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to leave a stoot like that. I can always add more later. Hi, Kathy. And then I did this impish color also as a transition color. So I'm using this blending brush again. And I'm just like layering, layering those two. I think this is what I did. Did I do this? Yeah. Just because I like this orangey color or peachy color. Whatever you wanna, I think it's pretty to kind of have up here. If you don't have this much space between your brow and your eyelid like I do, then, um, then I don't know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> then use a smaller brush, a smaller blending brush. But I got lots of space to work with here. But you want to make sure it's fluffy like this. Okay. You could use this one, possibly. But it's a little more dense, so the color is going to go on a little darker. So this is our fluffy crease brush. We also have a crease brush, so don't get them confused. Because look at the difference. Like, if you're going to put on... I don't have primer on my hand, so I'm not sure if this will look as good, but if you're gonna do this smaller crease brush that's dense and doesn't, it's short, the bristles are short, so that means the color is gonna go on darker, shorter, and it's like stiffer, okay? So, okay, like that, but if you have a fluffier one that moves a little more, um, it's gonna go on lighter. 
then you can work with it better and blend and build it up. See, look, like this has like sharp edges. This does not. So that's why brushes are very important. So these are my favorite, my two favorite, the fluffy crease brush and the blending brush. They're both unique. Okay. So then I take this brush, <laughs> like I was just talking about the fluffy crease brush, and I used, um, uh, what's it called again? Gullible. And I'm gonna do a halo eye. So that means I'm gonna put dark. I'm gonna like go in the crease you'll see, and on my lid, but I'm gonna leave this part blank <laughs> with nothing or try. So I'm just going in my crease. So I'm going a little bit lower than where I did my transition color. I'm going like actually in the, the divot and before I was kind of going above it. And if you wanna know what helped me learn is if I kept my eyes open to do my transition color, then I put it in the right spot. If I closed it, I would probably go too low. So keep your eye open when you're doing your transition color because then it's gonna go where you want it because you want it above your crease a little bit. Um, and then when you close your eye, do the crease that way. Okay, so I'm going around here. Hi, Lisa. Why are you awake? <laughs> Do we want to have another house party <laughs> conversation? <laughs> I went for like an hour and a half run walk, run slash walk, sprint slash walk today and it felt so good. <sighs> Which is probably why I'm late. And then I tried to go to the liquor store and they were closed. Okay, so since I have smallish eyes here, I am gonna use this smaller, um, oh my God, my stomach's growling. Oh, I didn't eat dinner, <laughs> I forgot. Um, this is smaller crease brush, I've been busy. And dip that in the gullible, and I'm putting that on the inside of my lid. And I'm gonna just kinda like meet it in the crease a little bit. Lisa, I was just talking about my halo, how much I love it. <clears throat> if she's still on, she might have jumped on and got off. She's got kids to take care of tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so I'm just blending, blending, blending. Okay, so see how I've got it and I've left that open. Oh gosh, I was not expecting to talk this much about like, to this detail. <laughs> All right, let's do the other eye. See if I can get it to match. This might not look as good as yesterday. <laughs> we'll see. So I'm kind of doing like a little V. Boop, 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 boop here. And then let's take the smaller brush and get the inside. If I did that fluffier brush, I'd probably get it all over my in, inner eye here and I don't want it all the way there. I kind of want to add a little, there's a little gap here, I think. Oh well, I really shouldn't be a perfectionist tonight. <laughs> All right, so just add the gullible, however dark you want it. Like you could, and you could use a darker color if you wanted, but. If you 
wanted to be more dramatic. If you were going out at night. Or you can make it lighter. I'm going to blend this. I didn't do a very good job over here. This is why I love this brush. Because if I screw up, I just blend it out as best I can. Okay. We'll try that. It's like kind of weird. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Mm, they're uneven. This is bothering me. Hold on. One side is higher. I gotta, I'll add some to this side. I have more on this eye. So that means I gotta add more to this one. That's easier than trying to get rid of. Okay, there we go. How's that? Good. Good for now. Okay. This thing on my lip is bothering me. We're gonna do the, this uh, visionary color. And I like to get, I want this to like really pop. So I'm gonna get my, this is a liner shader brush. I like this because it's like a flatter-ish brush. You could do a cream shadow brush. I just like this one. <laughs> and if you get your brush damp, you could use regular water. This is just rose water. And you dip it in there. How long have I been on here? Forever. And then you just want to like press it in that. It's like the perfect size. <laughs> so I like it. Press it right in the middle. And then I bring it up all the way into my crease. Let's see? <laughs> um, a halo eye is good for hooded eyelids because it's supposed to make your eyes look bigger and like more open. So I always like, I always like it. Let's do a little more. Then I like to actually take my finger. I just like to add a little bit. Whoa. Let me, yeah, okay. Because your finger can add just like a little extra. Look at that. Isn't that good? Oh, I kind of went a little overboard. I kind of went a little high there. Oh well, we'll blend. I'm in central time zone. So it is like 11-ish. I have a dress on. 11.30. Oh my goodness. I've been on here for an hour. Uh, there, I'll be quick the rest of the time. This is the most time consuming parts that I've done. All right. So I'm just going to take my fluffy crease brush and I got I to gotta blend this because I... up here and normally I don't add more color I, I just did just because I had so much up here but anyway just a very light amount okay and then I'll take and kind of blend out the edges a little bit just so it's not Like, like, you know? All right, so I think I'm pretty much done, but what I will say is I always, um, I usually, well, yeah, I always do a color under my brow bone. And last night I did, God, what is, there's like, dry, a little dry patch. I don't want to bite off right in the middle. Um, 
We have luminizers. So these are for like, well, anywhere you want to highlight. And mine is broken, so I have to be careful. But this color is benevolent. It's like just a nice frosty gold color. You'll see. So I use this deluxe brush is what it's called. It's just a nice, like stiff, dense brush too, where you can kind of place the color where you want right there. And it'll just go exactly there. <clears throat> I like to pack this on here. I always like to highlight under my brow just because it, whatever. Okay, so then we blend. <clears throat> It'll give you a little bit of an eye lift when you highlight under there. You don't want to do too much, like a thick line. I try to just do a thin line, but I'll blend it. And I usually always add my transition colors again to just blend everything again and so I'll take a stooped this one just a little bit because there's a line here see I want to blend that out I don't want that so this will just help kind of lighten that up and then make it blend into the into the <laughs> oh, I know. I love benevolent too. I need to get iridescent again. That's like the white. I, I did love that one. Mine, that one broke up mine too. I dropped it. I dropped everything. Okay. And then we'll do a little bit more of the impish. I need more on this side. I love that color. If you have blue eyes, it would like make your eyes bluer. Peaches are good for blue eyes. And golds and stuff. Okay. Still feel like this, this eye is a little darker, so I'm gonna add a little more gullible and I'm just gonna like make it go a little higher. Or I could blend this a little bit, but I don't want to. All right, so there's that for now. If you get eyeshadow down here more, I try to be careful because I already had my, all my other makeup done, but if I didn't have my makeup done, I would be, I could be more messy. And then all you do is take concealer on a, you could use a either like this cream shadow brush or a concealer brush and then you just like go like this and clean up all that eyeshadow and then it'll give you like you know like a nice clean cut line here too i don't even have any concealer on here but it's working see Mm -mm. Okay. Oh god, eyeliner. I don't like putting eyeliner on. This is my least favorite part. <laughs> I will add eyeshadow on the bottom, but I'm gonna wait till I'm done with the eyeliner because I always mess this part up. So last night I did a brown liquid liner, which I have not used before, and I really liked it. It pretty much looked black, but but it was brown. All right, but I'm gonna take black liner and tight line so that I had um, <laughs> that little uh, piece of skin between your lashes and your eyeball. Uh, if you uh, line that, it, hold on. And um, just makes it like look more complete. Doesn't that look better? And it'll make your lashes look longer. And if you didn't want to put eyeliner on, you can just do that 
Oh god, did I just get it in my eye? Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do what I just did. <laughs> oh, I think my eyelash was in my eye. Um, so I just like set it here usually and then I drag it over because I'm not good at like lifting up my lashes and then doing it that way. I just do it. Oh, I'm much better when I'm not live too. Okay. Um, so if you tightline, it can make you look like you have more makeup on than you do. So I do this most, well, all the time for work. I just tightline and I don't do any eyeliner like above my lashes because I hate putting eyeliner on. I don't know why, it's just like my least favorite thing to do. Hmm. Transfer to the bottom lash line. Um, well, I line my bottom lash line too, so that doesn't matter to me. Um, but mine doesn't. Like, does it do it right away or like later? What you could do. Well, what I do on my lower lash line, and it might help the upper because if you blink, it might get up there. But if I'm going um, out or something or something fancy, and I want my makeup to stay for sure, I'll take, I'll do the eyeliner, I'll tight line down there. It is water resistant. It's not waterproof. It actually acts waterproof. Like it, it stays so good, but it isn't waterproof. Um, but it also acts different, like with the oils of your skin. So like if I put on my hand and I try to put water on it and rub it off, it won't come off, but oils of on your face or your eyes are a little different. So so I'm not going to tell you that it's like not, not going to come off. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> but it does last very well, for me at least. Um, but here's what you do. You got to set it with a powder. So I'm just going to do, I'll just do this. So line it. And then we have an eyeliner brush. or Yeah, a liner brush. It's a really little one. And I will... Um, I need a closer mirror. Just take take that and line it like on top of there. And that'll set the liner and make it last longer. I mean, if you blink, maybe it'll get up on there. You could, you could get it up in there. I just never have. And I, haven't, I haven't done this up until, I just started doing this on the cruise this year because my friend, we were out at karaoke and it was like late at night and her, eye, her tight lining was still like perfect. And I'm like, I asked her, how the heck, how is your staying? Mine never stays like that. And she's like, oh, you just put eyeshadow over it. I was like, oh, for duh. She's like, yeah, then it stays. Because you got to set it. I'm like, oh. So yeah, that works. Okay. And this eyeshadow, um, what do I want to say? Some people, I have a friend who um, is allergic to like every eyeshadow, but she can wear eyeshadows. And she doesn't react. So... I feel like our eyeshadow is just like, if you get it in your eye, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do. All right, so. Oh, God, liquid liner. There we go. 
I'm gonna try not to screw up. This stuff, this liquid liner, oh goodness gracious, this stuff stays like crazy. So I try not to get it on my lashes because then it makes my lashes like stick together. So I try to like cover up these lashes. Oh, I'm totally gonna mess this up. I need a mirror closer. All right, well, we'll see. All right, I may go a little line there. Oh, whoopsie. Well, I can fix this. Let me get thinner. And then I just go right above. Oh my God, I need a closer mirror. <laughs> and then like, I'm just taking the side of the eyeliner. Okay, so since this line is like way thicker than I wanted it to be. Oh, I might be able to. Nope, okay. Wait. Sometimes, hold on, okay. <laughs> it's fixable. Hold on, let me get my lashes cleaned up. Because otherwise they stick together and they're crunchy and gross. This is why I don't like liquid I do my liquid liner. I did it so good yesterday. So quick. But whenever I'm live, I don't do it good. All right, so we take concealer. This is why I love concealer. And you kind of have to do this. I do it right away because this liquid liner stays really well. So if you let it dry, it gets like, um, like crunchy. I don't know. And then it's harder to fix. So I just take this and like make it how I want it. Make it more sharp. Do, 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 do. and smaller there better okay oh god. you guys this video is taking forever <laughs> oh god i gotta hold my lash down because i really don't like it when it gets on my lash So I try to like push down on it towards my lashes so it, um, see how it makes like that really nice like, it's pointy at the top but it's like the, exactly how my brush is. I just kind of like do that and that's perfect, the perfect wing. And then I just connect. Uh, like right on the top, just like rest the liner on it and it voila okay we're gonna add a little more on the edge but don't get too excited because then <laughs> I better not. I better just leave it because, yeah, if I get too excited, then, then they end up looking crazy. <clears throat> okay, so that's all I do. I don't line my bottom with liquid liner. So then I'm going to... <sighs> okay. 
Okay, I just wanna see if I can do this. I can't. Where'd it go? One side is longer and it's bothering me. I just need to make it a little. Well, I might not be able to find it. Oh, here it is. Sorry guys. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> well, oh, I can't see. The other one is like a little um higher up. So now I messed it up. We'll add a little concealer to make them even. I still have some on my hand, that's good. And then I can, you guys, I haven't worn my contacts in like over a year. I need to get new ones. It usually does not take me this long when I'm not talking. I can probably do my makeup. If I was gonna do this look not live, I mean, it'd probably take me 45 minutes. I could maybe get it done in 30 if I was being real, real focused. <clears throat> Hold on, I got concealer on this one. I'm just gonna. Darken it a little bit. <clears throat> I think I might like the crease brush better because it's less flimsy. Perfect wing. There we go. Mascara. So one side is a little more high up, but that's okay. What do you do for work? Um, I am an RN business analyst. So I work with Epic. If any of you know the healthcare system. Um, And I like work with um, all the nurses and rehab staff and stuff for home care and hospice on all their documentation. So I'm a nurse, but I do like IT now. I don't do patient care anymore. Oh, this is Lash Primer. And it um, helps your eye, eyeshadow, helps your mascara. I'm gonna, I usually do one eye at it. I usually do it and then do the other eye, but I'm gonna do it just one eye at a time today because I did that last night and I liked it. I like it better when it doesn't dry fully. Um, Yeah, so it's nice because I can work. Oh, I got it on my lid from home right now. This is good. I can show you what to do if you get mascara on your lid or your face or any 
where so sometimes my lashes are a little out of control like they curl <laughs> funky okay so just do that coat I have to do like a ton of videos tonight, like hair videos and stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna be up all night. Ah. Okay, so lash primer, what did I say? Did I say what this did? It helps your mascara go on better. It um, helps it be less clumpy. It nourishes your lashes. Well, ours does. It has good like conditioning stuff in it. So I actually feel like, whoa, this one is like out of control. Long. Excuse me. Uh, I feel like my lashes have gotten healthier since using the lash primer. It is. Okay, Lisa, we're almost done anyways. You can fast forward tomorrow to the end. We're gonna just do some lips and blush. And a little bit of a quick powder contour. That's quick though, for real. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely, what's going on? There's a club here. It's probably liquid liner. Remind me, I have to get that mascara off my eyelid. I wanna show you guys. Maybe you already know it. All right, so then, oh my gosh, I got liquid liner, I think down here. Let's just do the bottom quick. Oh shoot, I need to do, oh, oh well, I can still do it. I have these lashes growing back that I pulled out because <laughs> I have some that like to just like grow, just grow straight down. Okay, whatever. All right, to get mascara off your eyelid, if you just take a regular, if you take a spoolie of any sort, like this, or this <clears throat> and you just see it just scrapes it right off without ruining your other makeup it's the best i let it dry though it just flakes off <clears throat> all right <clears throat> let's do a little bit of powder contour this is what i do pretty much every day Chenille. I did do the stick foundation, but I feel like I need to like set it with, with powder just to finish it off. And this brush isn't anything special. I actually don't really like it. I want a new one. <clears throat> It's not unique, <laughs> just so you know. I'm not gonna say any names. I probably just need to clean it actually. 
I haven't cleaned it for a while. Oh gosh, there goes the cuckoo clock again. I know it's like midnight now. Holy crap. You guys, I'm so slow. But I hope you guys learned a lot. <laughs> All right. Let's put some blush on. There's hair. Okay. Bowl with applying blush. Oh, bl really? Oh, I thought blush is so fun. I love blush. Okay, so we're gonna do. Did I do a couple colors yesterday? For sure, this color. I love this color. Supple. And I do like this brush. This is from Target. Real technique, techniques, I don't know. I just love it's like soft and, soft and floofy. And you just do a little bit and tap. <laughs> and like ever so lightly, cause this stuff kinda, this blush can go on strong. So you just need to be very light. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? And it's got like a little highlight to it. down here I think oh yeah I was gonna put eyeshadow under my eyes as eyeliner I might still try that oh this pimple I'm gonna leave it I can't really see it well I'll show you what I would do with this brush this is um, a powder concealer brush. This is my, one of my favorite face brushes. But I'll like, I have a, anything I wanna cover. Oh, it works good for that. Just some touch-ups, okay. See, isn't that blush pretty? So that's supple, it's like a peachy. I love blush. <laughs> okay. I usually put too much on. Okay. Blend. Last. Well, not last. I gotta do lipstick. But last for my face, I think. is benevolent again. I put that on my eyes and I'm gonna put it on my, this luminizer. It doesn't normally look like this. And you can really use, you could use your finger. I don't know, I like this fan brush cause you can, it just like makes it perfect. I never really understood this whole fan brush thing until I got one. And then I was like, oh, this makes sense. <laughs> Brighten me up everywhere. Love it. Oh. Okay. Oh, lipstick. So, here's what I like to do. I'm going to put a little bit of this lip balm on. This lip balm on. Just so that my lips aren't like dry. Okay. 
And then we're gonna do, oh, this is the first time I did this combo yesterday and I really liked it. So if I could find it, where's, hmm. Do I have it out? Oh, oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so I actually used an eyeliner as a lip liner. Oh, shit, shoot. <laughs> I forgot to do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot to do. Hmm. Do I dare do this? I will. I will show you quick. I'm just going to do a very light. Um, I'm going to use this fluffy crease brush. I think underneath my eyes and I'm gonna do this color this little impish color just very lightly I'm gonna try to get it under my lashes here just because it will add a little something something and then I'll do the darker one too Sometimes I'll just mix them all together. Oh God, there's the cuckoo clock. Can you guys hear it? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. Um, right. Oh, and that reminds me that I missed one other thing <laughs> with the benevolent. I'll take my finger. Sometimes you use the eyeliner brush, but it's dirty right now. I need two of those things. And I'll just add it a little bit right here to like brighten up the inside of my eye. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, love it. It's the little things that make a difference. Okay. Now, lips. So this is Prim. It's an eyeliner, but I like it for my lips. I forgot to blend this, um, whatever this is down here. I don't know if it's the stick foundation or, I don't know, whatever. Okay. It's supposed to make your bottom lip look more pouty if you contour under your lip. And that's what it's doing. Okay, so here we go. If you liked the color plush lip liner... I better not talk. Hold on. If you liked plush, this is what it was reminding me of. The combo. This is what I do. Hopefully, I exfoliated my lips yesterday, so it will probably look better yesterday than today. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so then I like draw these little lines to draw. I'm gonna kind of do an ombre look to blend everything. Okay. Pretty, huh? Hold on. I got one lip that likes to like, one side of my lip likes to Pull down and the other side goes up when I smile so I have to like put on put it higher on one side I feel like okay so then I took this liquid lipstick in sparkling is the color 
Um, it's a good, this is a good color if you wanna do an ombre lip or like make, if you have a darker lip liner and you want it to be a little lighter. But if you're gonna wear it alone, it's really light. Very, very light. <laughs> So I do not wear it alone because it makes me look like I'm dead. I'm looking for oh, my lip brush. So I haven't used this lip brush for a while either. I just kind of like took it out of hiding. And now I remembered why I liked it so much. So, cause I was watching a different makeup tutorial from some girl on Instagram and she was using a lip brush and I thought, oh, I should use mine again. But it just like makes everything look more smooth and like blends, I don't know, like the liner and everything better. See how light that is if I didn't have lip liner, but just wait. And if you do this with the, with the wand, you're gonna get like way too much. And all you need is a little bit, a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna blend it up into the liner. I feel like it wasn't this dark yesterday. I might've had more lip balm on, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be okay. Once I blend it. Yeah, I like the brush. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just trying to blend this out. I think it helps when you put like chapstick on beforehand. Okay. And then I used some lip gloss over it just to make it pop a little more. I think that's going to be the last step, guys. Where is it? <clears throat> I don't want to stand up. <laughs> Hoping it's right here. Mm. I did Lucid. to do a color called lunar that's kind of goldy but I think it's at my boyfriend's house so I did the lip brush I think with this too or I like just put like little dots on <clears throat> and then blended it just a little bit just kind of in the center I put too much on. Do I look dead? <laughs> I feel like in the camera it makes me look different than I look in real life. Yesterday it looked kind of like pink. Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't do that color. Huh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I think I did this color. That's why. I think I did, I'm doing exactly what I did. I did that color and I was like, oh, I should add a little more pink. Cause that one's really frosty. So it kind of 
made it too, too dead looking. Okay, now I got a lot on. <clears throat> it'll, it'll soak in eventually here. All right. So much like that two hour tutorial. I don't go live with my makeup too much. I like to do it in my stories, like quick little things. So this um, setting spray, this um, it's just a treat for you guys. <laughs> oh my God, it smells so good. We don't have, this came out in a Black Friday bundle and it's my favorite thing ever. I hope, I hope we come out with it like in our Coraline because it smells like heaven. Okay, I think I did everything. How's it look? <laughs> it's sparkly glittery. What, the, this? It's got like rose gold little flecks in it. If you're talking about this. Or maybe you're talking about something else. Or maybe you're talking about my eyes. It's um, luminous setting spray, but it doesn't it doesn't make you like shiny. It it smells like vanilla or something. I don't know. It just smells so amazing. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That was fun. Thank you. Let me know if you have questions on colors I used. I won't re say everything because <laughs> there's a lot. Okay. I'll post this look actually, and then I can list out all, everything I used. Okay. Have a good night. Take care. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.